I'm very honored to have Thomas Earle as my guest. Now, Thomas is the author of Cloud Computing, Concepts, Technology, and Architecture. Uh, this is the newest title from the Prentice Hall Service Technology Series from Thomas Earle. We get such a diverse range of, of um, organizations working with us. We reach over 60 countries right now with the certifications, and we work with organizations any, you know, ranging anywhere from the uh, public sector, such as the U.S. Department of Defense, to a lot of private sector uh, corporations. And uh, what I do know is that there is a great deal of um, interest in establishing private clouds for larger environments where there are already uh, departments that are either geographically dispersed or um, there is strict separation of, uh, of lines of business where each has their own IT department that is governed independently. Uh, and then the idea of having a central location as a private cloud to share resources, to is, in, introduce some sort of chargeback mechanism, and then um, uh, leverage that collectively. That's being explored in the larger organizations. It's often a scary thing to um, develop that level of dependency on a third party and to, uh, uh, to base mission critical systems on what their guarantees are to you and to uh, and to make that commitment. Okay, so now let's let's focus on uh, the kinds of skills that IT managers and technical staffers need. Um, we're sort of moving beyond the hardware maintenance phase, especially if you're talking about using cloud resources where the data center itself is somewhere else. Um, so, what kind of skills do these professionals need? as their IT departments and as their IT operations migrate out? Architecturally, from an administration perspective, from an um, uh, infrastructure planning perspective, all these distinctions and the associated benefits and risks needed to be understood by everyone. Right. And, and I would also like to group security into that. Sure. Uh, more, so, yeah, more so than with um, traditional on-premise distributed environments, uh, a necessity for a fundamental understanding of the security concerns, the risks, the um, uh, potential attacks and threats that exist, and several of which are unique to cloud environments. There is a need for a, a broader range of project team members to have that understanding because uh, it's not just the security guy who will come in to know that, it's just it affects, it infiltrates areas of design, it infiltrates um, areas of um, how we administer and govern and evolve our environments. There are implications to decisions we make that now have to take security into account because it's it's more exposed. Um, so, so yeah, you have that set of uh, uh, fundamental uh, skills and knowledge areas that are required by any project team member that touches the, the cloud environment or has an involvement with it, including management. Uh, project managers, stakeholders need uh, a, a level of that to make strategic decisions in relation to that, to their to their um, initiative. So we need um, we need uh, professionals who uh, specialize in, in storage and capacity management, um, in cloud-based environment governance and 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 in security, more advanced and specific security architectures. Uh, those types of areas um, need to be addressed because what is uh, being built and what's being planned for cloud environments is becoming more and more sophisticated. If those traditional skill sets are now sort of not the problem of the in-house IT department, but rather they're more of a concern for the cloud provider, um, which certifications are more important or potentially of greater relevance to um, an in-house IT department, to pro the, the, once we get past the baseline, as you mentioned, um, where they're looking to expand their knowledge, they're looking to really invest in the cloud, what kinds of certifications um, are most relevant for that audience? I think the best answer I can come up with is it depends on the extent to which a given organization um, needs or wants to have administrative control and, and hands-on involvement in what's being built or deployed in the cloud. And all that is fundamental. All that is regardless of what cloud uh, vendor, uh, cloud provider you choose, what cloud product vendor you choose, 
all that applies to any um, environment that um, is, is currently part of the cl uh, contemporary cloud computing industry. And, um, and these are all considerations that are, that are covered by uh, our vendor neutral program. That's what we focus on, the, right. the common aspects. All these, these fundamental, concrete, well-defined parts of cloud computing that are universal, you can now associate that to, okay, here's how they do it in VMware. You know, here's how they do it right. with Amazon. Here's what this exists at as uh, within this vendor environment. And that, that is often a revelation. I think with contemporary um, technology, advancements and innovation, uh, it's not common. There is, I, I think there should be. I okay. think there should be um, uh, cooperation and there should be, uh, 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 there should be communication there to do so. I think that would benefit everyone. Uh, we, we have another program dedicated to service-oriented architecture, another set of certifications and um, courses and Prometric exams that are part of that, just as it is with Cloud School, that's SOA School. And again, there, when, when that evolved, uh, that is something that would, I think would also have been a good thing for the uh, IT community to have put in place, but it never, it never happened. So whether it does happen in the cloud computing space, um, I think we should see just the same way as several of the outstanding industry standards organizations and specifications that are being put forth and being developed. Mm -hmm. um, we have to see to what extent they're adopted, to what extent uh, other industry organizations begin to um, uh, merge or, or support what uh, others are doing or complement it with extensions. And it comes down to the level of uh, community support that that can generate. So, but as you mentioned, it's still early in the game. The standardization process is still years from actually coalescing. Uh, and the only real way to navigate the landscape right now is with vendor neutral, a more academic approach to the understanding of the mechanisms behind cloud. Um, and I think that that's good advice for everybody. And I want to thank Thomas Earle for joining us today. Once again, the book is Cloud Computing, Concepts, Technology, and Architecture from the Prentice Hall Service Technology Series. And as I mentioned, we are in the chat room, so don't go away. Stay with us. Uh, some of the questions that we have queued up, we're going to address as soon as Thomas joins us. And for the Enterprise Cloud site, my name is Michael Steinhardt, and I thank everybody for joining us today. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you.